Welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to discuss about one interview question, how to get the last purchase date of a particular product or product category. So this is to get the client to know that, okay, what is the product? What is the last date which the customer has bought a product of, from the product category so that they can analyze it based on that. So for example, if the client clicks on office supplies, they should know, okay, what is the last date? The, the, the purchase has happened in office supplies. Okay, you can see it is a 30, 31, 12, 2013. And here, if you check, it is the same 31. 12. And at the same time, if you see the product category technology, and you can see it is 30, 12, 2013, and you can see the same year as 30, December 2013 as technology. So basically, this is an advanced DAX. So how we are going to write the DAX for getting the last purchase date or the, or the last product category access date. So we'll take an example. We are having a data set. It is having an order. And in that order, we are having product name, product subcategory, and product category. In that, we are going to take the product category. And there will be three product categories. And we will see what is the last date which the client has accessed or the last date a purchase had been done in that product that for checking everything whether everything is right so we will create a we will take a table and we will select the product category in that table and also we will select the order date the order date we will keep it as order date itself no need of hierarchy select the order date descending order so that the last date will be coming on top so here we got the product category on the order date like this you can see the order date which is the last one that has been accessed or purchased so now we are going to select a slicer for selecting the product category. So in that slicer, we will select the product category. So basically what happens is when you click technology, it should reflect of okay, which was the last purchase date of technology. So this date should be shown in a card. So we don't want the value to be changed. We don't want the filter to be worked here. So we have already done the edit interaction here and we have blocked the filter. With respect to whichever product category you're going to select in the slicer, in the card, the visual should be displayed the latest date of purchase. So we'll write a measure for that. So create new measure. So we'll give the name as last purchase date equals. You can create a variable for getting the purchase category name, variable category equals to and give it as max of max of orders and product category so you can use the return and now here we are going to call the category in max x function so max x and for the table you need to filter the table and you have to show so you can do the filter function and the table is orders and the filter expression will be the order product category, the product category should be equal to the variable which we have declared, that is category. And this is the table which we are going to get it. We need to get the date of it. So you can get the date of it, order, order date. It is going to get the last date for the purchase category with respect to the order date. So we will try whether it is working. We can take the card visual and we can select this last purchase date measure which we have created. And of course, you need to format the date and you can give the short date for that. So now we are going to select the furniture. So for furniture, the last date in this table category, we can see it is as 31st. December 2013 on the same we got that date. If it is office supplies, that also we can see here as 31st December. So you can see that. But for technology, that is different. You can see for technology, it is 30 December 2013. And here also the same got reflected here. So this is the way we can find the last purchase date or whatever it is, the last access date or the last updated date, updated purchase, so with respect to the date, you can do this function to get this measure and plot it in the table. Thank you. Have a nice day.